Okay. Hello. <laughs> I just fogged up my glasses. And that's the tricky thing. You gotta fog up your glasses always. All right, I'm taking this off. Yeah, just no one here. Yeah. Until we see people. All right. Um, let's okay. see. Did you ever think of quitting comedy when you were starting out? Oh, I really didn't ever think. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, but you can decide to quit. Did you ever think of quitting producing? I know. But did you ever think of quitting comedy? <laughs> no. I figured just go for it. I, I, lo I love doing comedy. I like making people laugh. And it was, uh, it, it's fun. It's lonely sometimes, you know, when you first start out and you don't know, make money. Yeah. Don't, don't do it to make money. But I never did. Yeah. <laughs> what was our wedding like? <laughs> oh, our wedding was so fun. I hope it was. I mean, we had fun. <clears throat> and like, I tried to, remember we tried to watch the DVD. Oh God, that was. You can't watch. What, what, that's the no. Don't that, don't don't get your that we wedding can't even video, talk about. videotaped because. Let's talk about the good parts of the wedding. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's just that we had that the best time ever. And then well, you watch it back and you're like, ooh. What happened was. No, don't even know. I, I we got engaged know. after dating for like three plus years, I think. Normal. And Normal. Yeah, good, good time. And it was in August. And then I had to go immediately start production on a film on He's Just Not That Into You. And as I'm doing that and you're doing something else, we're, we're, but we're living in LA and we're making these lists and lists and lists of people. And I'm like, I don't have any time to, what in the, we kept trying to talk to these wedding people oh. and about, and they want to talk about napkins and things we just could not have cared less really on any level. Oh. So Gross. we were home for Thanksgiving. The movie had just wrapped. Yes. And Jimmy. I, I, my travel agent, I talked to my travel agent because I was talking about a wedding and what if we do a destination. And, and so he was like, just, uh, it was Mikey, right? Mikey yeah, Holtz. Mikey Holtz. I said, he goes, what's your dream, 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 dream? Yeah. Where would you like to get married? Dream. I go, ah, dream is easily Richard Branson, Necker Island. He goes, perfect. That's good to know. You have to rent it out for at least two weeks. So he said, yeah, that's out of the question. I go, I got you. No big deal. Life goes on. Um, we'll find a place. Then he calls me back. Yes. And it's around Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, it was Thanksgiving. And, it was, and he calls, he goes, guys, this is the weirdest thing ever. Uh, Richard's daughter is having a baby. The fir his first his grand first grandchild. Child. And he goes like, and so he's so excited. He's going to go be with her when she has the baby. Over Christmas. Over Christmas. So could you, this would you want to? This is the first Christmas they'll ne they won't that he's be missed on Neck Round. Ever. Yes. Yeah. Ever. Since this, they it, yeah. it still might Never. be. Yeah. yeah. But he goes... Uh, Richard uh, is a fan. He likes you, so he'll rent you the the island for two days. Was it? Yeah, it was like three days. Three days. Yeah. Twenty December twenty second is when we got married. So what was it? It was the twenty first because my dad's birthday too. The twenty first. Twenty first, twenty second, twenty third. Twenty third. We got this place for three Love days. Richard so Branson. Jimmy goes, "What if we got married in three weeks?" instead of next summer. And I'm like, this is the best idea of all human time. So we had 12 people at our wedding. Yeah, you can't, we, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't I invite people. I just had got a dress done as fast as I could. You, there I, are like, some ants that don't talk to us to this day. Some people are still mad, but no ants came. No, no, no we just could not Us, we do brother, anybody. sister, best friend. Yeah. And parents. Yeah. And man, and we had a God. rager time. It was so. It was so much Fun. They were so cool. Everybody was they so fun. So, the whoever staff, worked the staff was so oh cool. No. And they were so nice. And they were like. And they had animals everywhere and all the flamingos, flamingos and, and the, the giant, giant turtles. turtles. <laughs> God. Do you guys want to have dinner with us? Just Woo, hear this story over and over? Yeah. Uh, we just had the best time. And. Uh, but, and then on the 24th, so we were kind of like had to do that. So we just thought, who cares? Christmas, wedding, let's do a wedding. And then on the 24th, we bid adieu to all of our little family, sent them all home. And then Drew and Jimmy and I stayed on Necker Island with the staff for Boxing Day. Yeah. They said as long as you... Take yeah, they care go, of yourself. We're not cleaning. We're not going to clean. Doing, we're not going to treat you like, like a guest. You have to like cook with we're us. We're treating you like your staff. Eat with us and like do whatever. And we were like in. Yeah, it's almost so like then, below deck. Yes, we kind of oh work God. there. 
They remind me of Blue. And we did kids. dishes with them and had dinner yeah. with them. Yeah. Love oh my her. gosh, it was so fun. Hands down, one of the best days and nights of my life. It was the best life. wedding I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wish you all could have been there. Says and those aunts and uncles. Nancy, can you tell us about your experience working with Clarence Clemens? <gasps> oh, the, yes, I loved him so much. Uh, the funnest thing about, well, Clarence, I met Clarence at this incredible place called Glide Methodist Memorial Church in the Tenderloin in San Francisco. And um, he asked if I would work just for three days for him, cleaning up his office and organizing. And at the end of that, he said, you have to be my assistant. So we started working together. Oh, and it was when Bruce, he and Bruce weren't together. And so it was a trying time for him because I think a lot of the band wanted to keep being the E Street Band and we're looking for their identity. Um, but one of the coolest things we did was go on a 13 horn band tour all over the East Coast, like all different cities, like, I mean, little cities, like, like, uh, like Big Band Beach, or Brass, Beach Town. like New Orleans Jazz type of stuff? God, they were so cool. I should remember all of them. Wow. When I was working for Clarence was when I met Drew. So I went from Clarence to Drew. I mean, In my good year. That history. Good yeah. couple of years right there. Yeah. Couple years I worked for Clarence. He was the coolest. I met him with you uh, the last tour. Yes. He's just, he really was a big dude. Yeah, he was just at his hands, his head, his everything, his ears. I mean, he's just really a big, amazing. Great guy. Uh, he was such a sweetheart and such a love, and he had the best kids, and um, yeah. All of his ex wives were good friends still with him, and so. Uh, we had a blast. Love to the big man, yes. Clarence Clemens. Yes. Is that good? Ask the Talons? I think that we... It's a we, lot. We had a lot. We did a lot of stuff. All right, here we go. See you, see you next time. See you, see you tomorrow, see it feels tomorrow. like. Yeah. But Whatever it is, is yeah. it? Yeah. We'll Probably. see you when we see you guys. Bye. Bye, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.